Hey guys, what is up? Good Cousin Valley Central speaking. We are at the Mill Creek Central Railroad today, um, firing up Termate, Termite uh, 108 or 802, Termite, Termite Lumber Company. Uh, it's a Prairie engine, freelance steam engine with Vanderbilt tender. So we're just getting ready to move. We got money to deliver. Oh my God, it's been too long. We, we got Art and these uh, box cars. Kev, what? We got Art, Monroe's. And... Yeah, everything in those box cars are worth worth a lot of money. <laughs> we give it two toots on the whistle. A whistle bro. <laughs> Forget to do that. Eight hundred two Termite Lumber Company Prairie Steam Engine is now coming down the lower end of the hill at the Mill Creek Railroad track. Coming down the hill, the speed of a few miles per hour, going through the signal. And now going across a diamond for effects sounds.
Location number two is the little miniature scale Shockton Railroad town, railroad Yard. And they're currently working on the roundhouse right now in progress, fixing the roof and everything else on it. So, location number two is this track here, the little tiny Coshocton Railroad Yard here at Mill Creek Central Railroad. So, the next location on the railroad is the tunnel, which is coming up. We're now coming up to the tunnel, which is The train is just approaching the tunnel. And I'm having a wonderful time here at Shockton. We're only running a few trains. This is only the summer meet. And I came down early just to see on Friday, just to see if there are any more trains coming around. Apparently, they're just not that many yet. Next location will be at the train crossing next. Location is the crossing, the second crossing here at Mill Creek. And we're waiting for the train to come through the 802 Prairie Termite two and a half inch gauge steam engine two and a half inch scale Mill Creek Central, Main Terminal, Train Station, Grand Central. This is where they do the water pit stops here. So 
the terminus at Grand Central Mill Creek Station. And this is where we're going to end our video, guys. You have a nice day, Cocosing Valley Central. Signing out. Have a nice day. Hey guys, what is up? Cozing Valley Central Railroad speaking. Well, I came up to Mill Creek Central if anybody's working on the railroad today. And apparently there's not too many people out here, out and about running trains. I heard rumors saying, not really rumors, but true, we're going to start laying track uphill to another area on the railroad. So... And we're hoping to lay more track uphill and following the new sections of line uphill. So, if you're planning on to build a 7.5 inch gauge railroad, these are all 1 8 scale railroad. So I'm following a new section of line It's going to be built uphill to a pond hoping someday what is going on here but we don't know until it happens right down there is a yellow railroad signal so we don't know if anybody's coming up or down but sometimes these signals are iffy so it's gonna be great to have trains going uphill higher up on the line I'd like to see where this line heads to so, it's approximately five miles of track, and it takes an hour to take, go around, and then these extra railroad lines going uphill. So, I really don't know how this is going to be neat, but the line is all flattened out at a gradient, probably of maybe 2% or 3% all the way uphill, and I just wanted to go see how far this goes. So we're now coming around a corner and another crossing. Whew. Mud around here. Whew. So and the line dead ends. Right here. End of the line. That's all the farther it goes. So we'll see what happens if we're going to lay more track uphill. So we'll see what happens. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.